New tonight, the telenovela actor charged in a deadly road rage incident in Miami is out of jail for now. Family members of the man he's accused of killing understandably upset at that development. CBS 4's Ty Russell is live in Miami where the victim was remembered tonight. Ty. Well, Ruta Bay and Elliot, it was a tough day for the relatives of Juan Ricardo Hernandez. I'm right outside of the funeral home where dozens of relatives and friends gathered to say their final goodbyes. Meanwhile, tonight they are still waiting to learn if the actor accused of punching Hernandez will face additional charges. Family and friends leaned on each other for comfort as they prepared to say their final goodbyes Tuesday night to 63-year-old Juan Ricardo Hernandez. His widow couldn't hold back her tears while saying in Spanish, I feel so bad. What I want is justice. This poor man, I don't know how I can live without him. My God. Investigators say surveillance video captured 32-year-old telenovela star Pablo Lyle punching Hernandez on March 31st in what's described as a road rage incident. Four days later, Hernandez died of a traumatic brain injury that left many heartbroken. His widow went on to say in Spanish, I feel bad. I feel bad. This is Lyle outside the West Miami-Dade jail Wednesday being released on bond, but wearing a GPS ankle monitor, and he's on house arrest. He faces a battery charge. A judge is reviewing the surveillance video to see if more charges are on the way. The state attorney's office wants a second-degree murder charge. And while the actor waits for an answer, he has been forced to surrender his passport to avoid going back to Mexico. The actor's attorneys say he was defending himself and his family since Hernandez initially approached their car. The family needs at this point some justice uh, in order to feel at home and at peace. It's been very emotional for them. Now, on top of grieving, relatives for Hernandez are also waiting for the judge's decision. And we are expecting to see relatives of Hernandez in court tomorrow. That's because Lyle, the telenovela star, is expected to appear once again before a judge. We are live in Miami tonight. I'm Ty Russell, CBS 4 News Tonight.